So turtles, how's it like being a turtle? How's life? Wow, you're scared of me. You know what guys? When I turn it around, I'll turn it around first. They will go here. And then when I turn it around that again, they will go here. Unfortunately, they're afraid of me. And you know, when I feed them cabbages, they're afraid of the cabbages too. Which is just shock because they love cabbages. <sighs> I just want to know how laugh is for a turtle. about turtles today and I will describe my pet turtles before we get on with the facts so this this tub for them is not actually their um, aquarium mine is bigger than this just so that you can see them so how do you know which is which? Well, I'll tell you. You see, Pickles is the darker one and it's bigger. The shell is bigger. While Mustard is lighter and has the smaller shell. Yeah, but they both have um, yellowish white spots on their back. I don't know how that happened. But they're pretty playful. You know, in their own aquarium, they like to go on top of each other. Which is like, kind of like wrestling. And their favorite food is cabbages. Like I told you before, they're afraid of them. Unless we just drop it into the aquarium, then they can eat it. But first they go slow like this. Hmm. stare at you. Weird stuff happens, eh? How they walk is so adorable. Aww. Wow, their shells are so beautiful. Look at those patterns. Um, they're called Brazilian pet turtles. Wow. And these orange things on their sides it's really nice, really cool, right? Now, the story for today is... Drum roll please, turtles. The turtle's treasure. But before that story, of course, I'm gonna tell you facts about turtles. And while I'm at it, I'm going to be feeding them. I hope they won't get scared of the cabbage. So, turtles, of course, are reptiles. They lay eggs. Turtles have a hard shell that protects them. Like 
like a shield. The upper shell is called carapace. Eat your cat, I want you to eat your little bear. Oh, jeez, that. Oh, gee, guys. Pickles are sleeping. Anyways. And the bottom shell, like right here on the tummy, and it's called plastron. Now, the shells protect them, right? And most turtles, but not all, sorry about that, those turtles that can't hide in their shells, the shells protect them from their predators, and they just go like, for example, my back is something. Oh, and guess what guys? Turtles have lived for 250 million years! Mm. Here, that little turtles, you've lived for 250 million years! Lucky you. Um, so turtles are cold-blooded. Of course, only birds and mammals are warm. And guess what? The largest turtle in the world is the leatherback sea turtle. Sorry about that, guys, but you're just big back for me. The leatherback sea turtle can wear about. Drum roll again, please. Nine hundred kilograms. No, don't think, Lisa. For some species of turtles, the temperature determines whether the baby turtle developing in the eggs will become a female or a male. So you see, lower temperatures lead to a male, while higher temperatures lead to a female. Amazing! Turtles are so cool! My pet turtles are male, because I think they are. But could one of them be a female? That would be really, really cool, because oh, I've always wanted more turtles. Mommy! Oh no, my turtles are trying to get away. They're trying to escape. Please, no, turtles, please. No, you are my only pets here in Indonesia. Please don't go. I think they missed the rock. Let's get on with the facts. So this fact is kind of sad and I'm emotional so I hope I won't cry. So you see, the mother turtle lays her eggs in the sand and leaves them there to hatch on your own. So the, when the baby turtles are already fully developed, they have to go out of the hole and scramble to the ocean while avoiding predators. Those baby turtles are so brave. <laughs> I wouldn't that want that for me. I hope they'll find their mother. You know, sea turtles have special glands which help them remove salt from the water they drink, which is a are so cool! Aww. I'm glad I have pet turtles. Anyways, this last one is really, really sad. It's sadder than the mother leaves the babies down. That fact. This one is the saddest fact of them all. Turtles are one of the endangered They're already eating the cabbage. Look at them go! They're eating the cabbage already! Look! Right 
right here. See? They've been eating it all this time. I thought you would never eat them. Hey, look at it. That's how it eats. Wow. I hope you guys are watching this. Hey, I could see the nostrils. <laughs> I saw the tiny little nostrils. Isn't it cool on how they're eating? Come on, eat up. This is your uh, breakfast or snack. Come on, you need to get active. You need to climb those rocks later. Story telling time, guys! And oh, and yours! We have two VIPs. Very important materials. Mustard and pickles! Pickles and mustard! Yahoo! Okay, this is for you, my little pet turtles. The turtle and the treasure. Long, long ago, it's a There lived an old couple. They were very hardworking. They lived happily even though they were poor. At least they had enough money to buy food and water. One early morning, the couple found a tea turtle sleeping soundly in front of their door. They were surprised. Why is there a turtle in front of the door? Rosaria, the wife, said. That's the question. Procorpio, the husband, said. I said the scorpion, right? I had to wake it up. Let's wake it up. Rosaria said. Procorpio immediately replied, replied, Good idea! So, the good old couple woke up the turtle. When the turtle woke up, it said, Please, help me. You want to lay my eggs, but there's a snake on the island where I live. Will you help me find a safe place to lay my eggs? The couple, once again, was surprised that they were also willing to help the struggling turtle. We'll help you! The turtle's eyes shone with happiness. Thank you, thank you, the turtle said. I'm very grateful. I might do something for you in return. I'm doing a cute voice. The couple turned to each other and smiled. They helped the turtle bury its eggs in a safe place. When they were done, the turtle said happily, Finally, my babies are safe because of you. You've done a great job. My new human friends, I bid you farewell. Thus, we might see each other again. And so the turtle went into the sea, swimming and smiling happily to itself. Weeks passed by and the turtle legs cracked open. <laughs> and then, baby turtles hatched and swam to the ocean. The old couple saw them in time to see them crawling toward the ocean. How happy they were! Many months passed by and the couple waited to see the turtle but failed. But they did not forget about the turtle. On 1st December, the turtle came back! Yahoo! Hello, dear friends! became a water snake and has powers. It would be that would happen. It said, Let's find the treasure! Rosaria said excitedly. But it's dangerous! I feel like we should not go! Procorpio replied. Hey, the treasure's for you! That's why I came back! The turtle told them. Ugh. Come on, Procorpio! This is an adventure of a lifetime! Rosaria told her husband. No! We can't go. What the wall? Look at you. You're 50 years old and I'm 51. Procorpio said madly. Hey! The turtle old shouted. What? Procorpio said. The turtle teasingly said. You're scared, are you not? Come on, respect the lady. Please. Rosaria said. Oh, fine. Procorpio answered. But... You're right, Rosaria, said Procorpio. Who 
needs a boat. Hop on my back, the turtle said happily. The couple jumped onto the turtle's back. Magically, the turtle grew bigger so that both of them would have a bigger space and be comfortable. Off we go, the turtle shouted. Then it flew. What magic! We're on a magic turtle, Rosaria cried. Finally, they reached the location. As the magical turtle chanted, chanted some words, a bubble magically surrounded the couple's heads to let them breathe under wa water. After some time, they found a treasure with a water snake beside them. I'll fight the snake! The turtle shouted. The snake heard the turtle. Then let's fight! Okay? 